it's Jerry here, and I just want to go over a, uh, a very good app that I've uh, done a review on. Something I use every day. It's called Plan Grid. I did a uh, review a couple years ago on this, and uh, they've updated so much I felt I need to do a, another update. And um, plus the, uh, the the reviews and the, or the demos that they give on their website doesn't really do the app justice. So I just want to go over a few things with you here. So I'm going to go in here and go in here and show you um, just a few things about this, and then we'll show you how to really get started on it. But uh, this is, like I said, this is an app I use every day um, to work with. Very handy. Um, very good app. Probably the best on the market, in my opinion, as far as blueprint apps go. Um, just so many things you can do with this. So many so many uh, handy things plus it keeps you uh, from having to drag blueprints around and that kind of thing but uh, what I'll do is I'll go, I'll go back to the computer and uh, show you how to get this started from start to finish we'll do this in a couple tutorials and uh, hopefully get you up and running and uh, you can enjoy this as much as I do alright we're going to look at plan grid um, these are some of the things I'm trying to avoid is Having this, all this, and all this, you know, have to drag it around out on the job site. You keep them in your trailer or whatever in your office, but uh, we don't want to pack all that around out there on the site. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to, I'm going to go to Plan Grid. It's not on their website. You have to sign up. You do have a free account, so you can sign up for free. Um, and I'll show you how to go on here and add your blueprints to their server. They keep your blueprints on their server, and you just access them on your iPad. Once you have them on your iPad, you don't need a uh, internet service. Um, you just have them; they're stored, actually stored on the iPad itself. So you go through here, go through and read the stuff. Um, and if you look, they've got a, you know training here. And um, they got all the little basic one on you know, plan grid one on one, plan grid two on one. And at least give you some some quick tutorials on how to do a few things, but it's it's lacking in some things. So uh, I thought I would go through and show you um, how to do this step by step, get them on your blue on your iPad and get started. And you can see here that uh, this is where you sign up and you agree and you have to pick your uh, type of uh, plan you want. So they have uh, three different plans. They have four different plans now. Um, the hammer, which is free, you get free 50, 50 sheets free. Um, the nail gun, which is what I use, is 550 sheets of storage. And you get two months free and then on up. Um, and they do training, consultant training for big projects and that kind of thing. But you can start off with the free site and uh, and then uh, see if you like it. So I'm going to go to mine, and uh, if you notice, I've got some projects already on here. I'm going to show you how to start new. So we'll go to uh, create a project. We'll just call this uh, demo. And this is where you upload your drawings. So uh, a lot of times, a uh, blueprint you get your uh, blueprints in rolls or sheets or uh, books, and what you need to do is have them uh, in PDF form. And what we do is we use we use an uh, Ignite. And it's just an FTP site stores all of our drawings. Um, you go in and uh, download the drawings straight to your laptop, and then you can uh, upload them here. And I have some. Uh, I have some drawings already downloaded, so I'll go look browse my computer. I have them on the desktop. Let's see here, I've got two. I'm going to start with this one. So it shows you the drawing. You can do this in books, or you can do it in individual sheets. You can highlight more than one. Um, we'll start with this one sheet. You can see it's downloading. It doesn't take very long. But it has some handy features in it. So now you see it's downloaded. Um, 
and it's uh, processing it right now. If it doesn't take too long, we'll uh, pause and come back when it gets done with that. All right, now that it's finished uploading and processing, uh, you got to verify your sheet. So you just you click verify. And what this does is it, it reads this region on your drawing and shows it, it logs that as your page number, and this will uh, this will help sort out your drawings. And you can later go in and sort them per architectural, site work, plumbing, different things. Uh, if it's not the drawing you want, you can go to edit, and of course you can. Do all that you can put a description of what you want if you want it to be uh, first floor second floor or whatever you want to put and then the version versioning is the uh, this is the first page like this you've updated or you've added once the uh, architect submits a, a revision or a new drawing you can upload this it'll have the same number but it will paste it directly over top of this so you have your new version and the old version underneath, and you can go back and forth between the two and look at changes that were made and that kind of thing. This is uh, this is everything on here is okay. You're gonna say what version this is, and usually I put the date, so it would be uh, three. Go back to a three uh, fifteen fifteen, and I'd save it as that, so I know that on those dates this is the latest set up to this date. And I publish it. Now, what that does is it puts it on the server and lets you access it from your iPad. So you can go down, and you can view the sheets, and there it is. Now you can use this this site on your desktop or on your laptop, just as you would any other Blueprint uh, software, such as Bluebeam Review or anything like that. This one was really good. Um, I mean, it lets you store attachments. Um, I don't have any on there yet. We're gonna we'll put one on there. Issues, um, as far as punch list and that kind of thing. This is really good, and we'll get into that in a later tutorial. RFIs, uh, questions and answers created by who's assigned to, start and finish. I mean, it's uh, it's a pretty handy app. Um, any photos you take within your plant your, on your iPad will be stored here. Um, team is anybody you want to help help you have access to your uh, drawings, and I'll show you on on a later uh, tutorial that I have the uh, the casework uh, manufacturer is on here so that I can make changes on my iPad and he can go in here and directly see what the field measurements are and that kind of thing and, and go accordingly. Then you have your dashboard, and this is just a uh, an overall tells you who's who's running, what what program you're running. If you want to delete the pro uh, this this uh, project, that kind of thing. Um, pretty cool. So let's go in here and let's let's add an attachment. I have an attachment, so we'll, let's pause this for a second. We're gonna add an attachment, um, just like we did with a. Uh, with the blueprint, what we'll do is you can you can add it, add it under RFIs. I already have some pre-selected folders. You can put it under no folder, just be out in the open, or you can add a new folder to put it in. And um, let's just put it under uh, let's put it under specs. And this will be a shop drawing. What I normally do is put I add a shop drawing folder. Um, but we'll go in here and you can go to. Uh, you can, if you have it, you can just drag your folder into here, or you can go choose file, and I, I do multiple files, uh, but I have it on my desktop. It's right here. Look at it. Make sure it's the correct one. This will be a plumbing fixture shop drawing. So either be under plumbing or shop drawings, either one. So we go to that. Let me see. It's uploading. When I get to this, I'll uh, I guess in the end I'll maybe pause it there. All right, so in this in this uh, you can see that the file's downloaded. You also have the option if you didn't put it in a folder before, you can now. Um, you can give this attachment a name. You can pick a folder. Okay, you can see what type it is. It's a project file. It's a sheet attachment. Um, and there's so many things you can do with this once we uh, move into this. Uh, this app. 
um, you can edit everything you have here or delete it um, you set the check mark you can save it um, which it's already saved on here um, but just uh, so many things and I'll show you a little few more options you have with it uh, so this sheet this is now attached in your attachments um, when you go to your uh, to the app on the um, on the iPad you'll see that there will be a tag for attachments and you go into that and it'll show you where it's at we'll get into that a little bit but let's uh, let's click on the sheet here now if you notice within the uh, within the app itself on the, or the program itself on the on your computer you've got this toolbar that pops up and this is the same exact toolbar you have on your iPad um, this will give you some options and we'll get into these a little bit later uh, but you notice you can uh, you can zoom in on your sheet and if you notice uh, you've got uh, you've got your details here um, and you can make these hyperlinks I'll show you how to get into that um, but so many things you can do with it and you see here it's already got a hyperlink added um, now if you don't have a sheet for this to refer to where I've only got the one sheet this actually pops back up to the same page it's on and uh, doesn't work so you uh, you actually have have multiple sheets in order for these attached for the hyperlinks to work so you need a 3.1 if you go here let's uh, let's trash that um, right here you would need the, you would need the sheet a 3.1 to be able to go to this hyperlink and uh, just it's really cool it does has a lot of options here but I just want to get you started on this show you how to bring sheets into this app um, how to bring attachments into this app and just the basic fundamentals of how to use this on on the website this is how you get started once you get this started I to be honest with you I hardly ever go back to this once everything's loaded um, I use my iPad for everything but it's just a good at good program to use I love it and we'll get more into it here later just want to get this tutorial over with and show you they don't really go into uh, details on how to get started or how to upload things and, and sort out things it's really vague so I just want to get that out of the way and show you some things so hope you appreciate it uh, we'll get more into this, this is tutorial one